What is good, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Foxy. Welcome back to the Fox Den. We're getting to another reaction. Good old my hero. We just finished episode six. On to episode seven, man. All these episodes have been absolutely fire so far. I mean, you could tell from the previous reactions. Like, I just been going ecstatic. I'm sure you guys have been too. Whenever you watch these every Saturday, but god damn, this shit is constant fucking action. So like, bro, this this season is going down as one of the best for sure. Like, I think like probably like season season two was a good fucking like you know season one was the introduction okay cool there's only 13 episodes season two great world and character building and uh first introduction to some crazy fights mainly uh deku versus todoroki that shit was wild still og one of the best fights in anime in my opinion uh ep season three one of the best seasons all might versus all for one fucking amazing season four i mean dude like bro nah my my hero's consistent as fuck season four deku versus overhaul fucking season five fucking uh training arc and fucking villain arc and a little bit more slower and then now we're here in season six and it's just like all hell is breaking loose bro this shit is crazy this show is so good well, off of the last episode shigaraki is officially fully awake everybody's trying to stop him within the top 10 heroes uh Aiza was there, you know, racing his quirks, and his raw power is showing that he can regenerate, he can jump, it's all his raw power, it's fucking insane. This Dr. Gauriki, you know, all for one's right hand man, this dude's, this dude's a fucking genius, but goddamn, like, you, what the fuck you make this for, bro? Like, goddamn. And, and, and we got more high ends that just popped up, like, bro, this, this episode is probably gonna be fucking just straight fighting i feel like and, and we and we saw uh shortly uh just for a little bit and uh the, i think the beginning of the last episode makia is coming through the fucking ground at gungo villa so who the fuck knows what he's gonna do because shigaraki just said come so he's about to start just ch dude yeah nah he's about to just start fucking charging through motherfuckers dude like you got everybody that's over there near the gunga village you better watch out and just get the fuck out the way because he's heading to shigaraki which is right here so yeah bro i'm just super excited for this i think that's enough talking i mean you know what else much is to say i talked enough in the post episode discussion last reaction and uh, we're getting right into this episode, so let's just fucking do it, shall we? If you guys enjoy the reaction, please leave a like down below, comment, and subscribe for new. There's plenty more on the way. Let's get it. Bro, look at the destruction. Oh, yeah, this this is like a news helicopter. Oh, my God, eri Chun, She's so cute. Yeah, fucking All Might's watching this like, holy fuck. Oh my god, the media hasn't received any- Oh my god, yeah. All of, like, everybody's loved ones, like, of the students, like, Deku's mom, like, Endeavor's kids, they have no idea what's going on. This motherfucker, oh my god. All right, let's fucking do this shit. Come on. What the fuck we do? Oh, right back into action. Yep. Oh my god, look at this shit. These Nomu look wild. Are they high ends, though? Mmm, my god, look how he's just def he's just deflecting him. Oh! Oh, shit! Hey, number one. Oh, shit. The king of villains. Oh my fucking god. Look how proud this motherfucker looks. Okay, they are high ends. They can't think on their own yet. Okay. So 
So they're not quite fully high ends because they can't think for themselves yet, but they're still strong as shit. Holy shit. Yeah, that's the thing about Eraser is so useful for stopping quirks. He's always a target by whoever he's fighting too, because they're like, I gotta get rid of this motherfucker, be able to do what I want. Bro, he's such a good teacher. I fucking love Aizawa. Ooh, that's what I'm talking about, Deku. Let's go! What a good fucking kid, bro. Oh my god. Let's go, boys. They're getting into action, too. Bro, they are throwing everything at this dude. Bro, he looks wild right there. That is a fucking fire picture. See, he keeps on getting those fucking echoes in his head from all for one. Damn, that wait, that was all for one talking right there through Shigaraki. What the fuck? He said little brother. See, he doesn't even know himself what the fuck just happened right there. Is it really though? Mm. Yeah, he, he's got his own convic conviction. Oh my god. This is how all this happened. All Might's master had to part with her son, so he was safe. The son took that very badly because he felt abandoned, obviously. Took it out on his son, who is Shigaraki, and now Shigaraki ended up like this. Like, oh my god, bro. Shigaraki doesn't even know that, either. He doesn't even know who his fucking grandmother is. Y'all better head up. Let's go. Let's go, boys. Yeah, they're putting in work. Dude, Endeavor has grown so much as a person, too, bro. Like, this guy, I fucking love... Oh, nah! Yo! That shit look... Um and they just bring out the halfway screen just like that out of nowhere, bro. What the fuck is... Hey, yo! Yiddies! We like those! Damn! Bro, this show on all fronts. God damn. Not anymore.
<laughs> Mount Lady, what the fuck, dude? Oh! Two giants! Why the fuck is he bringing along fucking long haired motherfucker? He's the one that's really smart and tech and shit and has a lot of influence in the media and shit, right? Or not influence, but he's able to. He, he's at, he has access to um, release propaganda and like whatever they want to put out, basically. Oh my god! Yeah, you sure about that? Bro, he is pushing like it's nothing, bro. Yeah, because it's all for one's fucking creation or something. He's, he has to do with I've, anything to do with all for one is strong as fuck. Just know that. Okay, good shit, Cementos. Let's go! Aw, oh, shit. Yep, see, they're coming out of the- they're coming out of the underground now. Redestra is on the surface now. Bro, I, dude, yeah, nah, they're heading to Shigaraki, bro. There's a- this is about to be- This is about to be even crazier, because it's all about to be in one location. Ooh, just picked her up and tossed her ass. Oh my god, get the fuck out the way. Oh shit, yep, see, the other one is back. Damn, she got fucked up. Come on, Yamamo. You got it. She believes in you. You're a good leader. Figure it out. <sighs> oh my fucking god, bro. He's charging. <laughs> Come on, mouth lady. Come on, let's go. I hope y'all are ready, though, because once y'all see that, it's different until you actually see that motherfucker right in front of you. Oh my god, it ends right there. Of course! God damn it, bro. I want more. I want more. 
Alrighty guys, what another amazing fucking episode of My Hero. I mean, goddamn. Gigato Machia is on the fucking move, bro. You better watch out. Uh, in the beginning of the episode, we see Deku and fucking uh, Bakugo are actually getting into the fray now and helping them out uh, with the fight. Endeavor and Aizawa and whatnot. Because Shigaraki, you know, I mentioned this earlier. Aizawa's quirk is so useful. I mean, he literally, as long as he's staring at you without blinking, you cannot use your power. So, luckily... Well, luckily in Shigaraki's case, he has this physical prowess now where, like, his power is just so sheerly, like, insane, like All Might's, where that isn't a quirk where he can, like, still kind of hold his own and, like, put up a fight. But if he didn't have that and he only had quirks, like, you're basically a normal human, you're fucking useless, you're going to, you're going to get rocked. So, like, Aizawa is so useful and, be, and, and because of that, you know, anyone, whoever he's fighting, that's, like, what they know or if he's around and he's like because he's being he's a huge support here like he can fight too sure you know what i'm saying like he's good he's good in hand-to-hand -hand combat but and in terms of like sheer power like this he can't put out as much as endeavor shigaraki and shit like that so like seeing like shigaraki just knows that aizawa is the one that's holding him back from being at 100 percent and being able to do what he like truly wants with all of his quirks and whatnot he immediately realizes that and it's like Aizawa always has a target on his head. He's like, I can't do what I want until I get rid of this guy. And so Shigaraki starts heading for him. And Grand Serena, you know, was going to be a second too late. But Deku came right in the fucking nick of time and kicked his ass, bro. He was like, because Grand Serena was like, you know, we got to think about the worst case scenario if, you know, one for all is stolen. Um, and, you know, Deku was like, worst case. And that's, you know, he, he kicked Shigaraki. He was like, yeah, no, the worst case scenario is us losing our teacher. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, that was really heartfelt for Aizawa. And he, he you know, because, you know, when Deku first became a student at UA and under Aizawa, Aizawa it showed that flashback. Aizawa was like, you're not fit to be a hero. So look how far he's come. And he still believes in his teacher, like, after, you know, being told something like that. I mean, Aizo was a strict teacher, but he's good at what he does. And that's what drove Midoriya in the beginning in the first place. He was like, you're not fit to be a hero. And then eventually he, you know, learned how to... Because he couldn't control his quirk. That was the whole thing in the beginning of, in that episode, right? Or in that first season. He couldn't control it. So, you know, Aizo was like, you're unfit to be a hero. Like, you can't you can't control your quirk. You Like, what good are you if you're fucking injured in, you know useless right after you attack once like you're dead you're gonna be dead and you can't help anybody else after that so like yeah what what use are you so that's where deku you know he couldn't he couldn't control it yet but he still critically thinked and was like okay let me just try this and he only used a finger so he was he proved aizo wrong that's what aizo was a good teacher he's strict but he he was able to push midoriya enough to where he figured out uh, a way to still be able to move he lost he, he couldn't he broke a finger but that's just a finger he could still move so, you know, Midori has always been uh, very smart and uh, has come a long way. So that was a really uh, wholesome moment between them. Uh, also, you know, the worst case scenario, that's that's more of like an emotional connection between that, you know, student teacher, you know, mentor apprentice. But also, it's also the worst case scenario in terms of that one moment, because if if, if Aizu was gone, you know, he's Shigaraki's going to have all his quirks. And so he's going to have decay. He's going to have, you know, whatever the fuck else he has. And I'm like, all for one's quirks and search and all that shit. And, you know, especially decay. Decay is like, oh, D right now, bro. Like that, you just turn to dust. Everything around him will turn to dust. Like it's like absurd to even want to get close to this man. So thank God for Erasure. Like Aizawa Sensei, like amen for that dude. So that's kind of where we're at in the beginning of, uh, beginning of the episode, you know, uh, Deku and Bakugo are getting into the fight and constant action between Shigaraki, Endeavor, Deku, and Bakugo. And goddamn, I can't wait to see more of that because that animation was looking so clean with Endeavor in, in, in one of his uh, last attacks. Like, that shit looked crisp. Um, and then towards the second half of the episode, we start, um, you know, the, the control room is checking up on the Gunga Villa. And... You know, uh, Gigantamaki is finally free from the underground, and by making that passage, everyone from the underground is able to get out too. So, Redestra is on the surface. Everyone else who's underground is on, is on the surface now, uh, along with, you know, Spinner. And so, like, the League of Villains are on Gigantamaki is back, and they're heading to Shigaraki. Um, and Mount Lady tried her best to hold Gigantamaki back, but Gigantamaki is bigger, he's stronger, he's fucking. He's, he's, his drive is crazier because he just. He, all he's thinking about is his master. So, like, he's just like, I gotta get to him. And 
so she tried her best and she's not going down without a fight but you know she can't she can't actually just hold him back like she can't and it looks like midnight is thinking about uh doing something to be able to put him to sleep because her whole her whole quirk is like you know if she shows her skin that's why she wears like a bodysuit and shit is if she shows her skin it releases this like like mist or like toxin that like put puts you to sleep basically um, and I guess that increases in quantity the more skin she's sewing because she said something along the lines to Yamamo that about like I know this is illegal but like it has to be done. I don't know if she was talking about the students getting involved and in making the right decision on their own like that's legal but I don't think so because they have their provisional licenses now so like maybe she's thinking about like completely stripping down which Lord have mercy <laughs> God forbid they show that on screen because whoa um that might be what she's planning. Uh, cause maybe like it's more potent, you know, the more skin she's sewing, it's more potent or larger quantity, whatever. Uh, since Gigantomaki is so big, you know, how much are you going to need to put that motherfucker to sleep? And Yamamo is making sedatives to pass out to the heroes. So I guess, you know, since he's so, I, I guess that's what she's planning since he's, since Gigantomaki is, is so huge. She's going to try to expose as much skin as possible to use her quirk to her fullest potential. And then if that's still not enough as well, then we got, you know, these sedatives that uh, fucking um, Yamamo created as well. However many we need to use. So I guess that's the plan of action that they're trying to uh, go forth with uh, into the next episode, at least with the uh, Gagantamakia and the Gunga Villa. So hopefully we get back to that next episode. We got to wait until next week, but God damn. These episodes, I mean, dude, I, I I look forward to this every fucking week. This shit is getting so good. Like, this season is fucking top tier, bro. It's so good. Whew. Yeah, I think that's going to do it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed the reaction. If y'all did, please leave a like down below. Comment and subscribe for news. Plenty more on the way. I'll see y'all in the next one. Deuces.